Now that you've learned about extensions, we will discuss dial plan priorities. At the end of the module, you will be able to use dial plan priorities to route calls in a linear fashion. We will discuss using numerical priorities, as well as creating flexible extensions using the end priority. Finally, we'll introduce the concept of priority labels as a tool to simplify nonlinear routing. We've said that in asterisk, an extension is the mapping between a dial plan address and a named series of actions. The named series of actions, called applications, are tagged with a number according to the order in which they will execute. The tag that refers to each step on this numbered list is known as a priority. In other words, priorities are tags that tell each step in an extension when to execute. Remember that the syntax used in extensions.conf takes the form extend equals greater than extension comma priority comma application. The priority will always be placed after the first comma in the line. It follows the extension and is followed by the application. Once a call enters an extension, it will continue to process down the list of commands in order of priorities until one of four things happens. The call is hung up, it is sent to another extension, an application returns a result code of negative one, indicating that it failed to execute, or there is no command with the next higher priority. It's important that all of your steps are numbered correctly, because if Asterisk can't find the expected priority, it will not simply skip the next one. Instead, it will end the call. A common scenario working with Asterisk involves an administrator wanting to add a new application at the beginning of an extension that already has numerous priorities. In order to respect priority order, adding a new priority 1 means that the old priority 1 has to be renumbered to 2, 2 renumbered to 3, and so on all the way down the list. This can be quite tedious for extensions with several priorities. Asterisk offers a way to still respect priority order while minimizing the amount of manual renumbering necessary when priorities change by offering a shortcut called N for the next priority. Using N instead of a numbered list tells Asterisk to calculate the numerical value of each priority when the dial plan is loaded by taking the previous priority and incrementing it by one. This lets you remove a step, in this case, by commenting it out, and Asterisk will reassign the priority numbers for you when you reload the dial plan. It is important to note that an extension must always start with priority 1, otherwise it will be considered invalid. N may not be used as the first priority. With explicit priority numbering, the order in which lines appear in the context doesn't matter to asterisk at all. But, because N priorities rely on the previous line and just count up from it, they must appear in the order you want them to execute. By using the N priority, your applications will always execute one after another but sometimes you may want to skip ahead several priorities or return to a previous priority. Asterisk lets you specify an arbitrary priority to jump to by letting you give it a label. To specify a label, put its name in parentheses immediately following the priority, before the comma separating the priority and the application. Though numbers, white space, and special characters are permitted as part of a priority label, it's best practice to stick to alpha characters for legibility. Once you've defined a priority label, you can use go to and similar dial plan applications to jump directly to that label. We'll see the syntax for the GoTo family of applications in an upcoming chapter. Priority labels let you combine the precision of explicit priority numbering with the flexibility of N priorities, so your dial plan can remain easy to modify as it grows in scale and complexity. To review, priorities are tags that tell asterisk when to execute each step in an extension. You may explicitly number your priorities, but using the N priority instead will allow your dial plan to be more flexible and easier to troubleshoot. Priority labels help you make complex dial plan routing simpler. By now, you should have a solid grasp of basic constructs necessary to write simple dial plans. We now turn to a chapter devoted to asterisk applications, where we'll discuss the various categories of apps and some examples in each category.